In this video, I want to talk about a recent YouTube phenomenon, a new channel creator who's hit YouTube success so fast, I don't think he knows what's hit him. That man is Rob Kenny, and his channel is all about dad advice. So Rob Kenny has amassed 2 million subscribers in a month, and this video is to look at how he's managed this amazing growth. Is he a winner of the YouTube algorithm lottery, or am I downplaying the genius of his success? Let's take a look at how Rob Kenny gained 2 million YouTube subscribers in a month, and if there's any lessons that you can take away too. Firstly, let's say it like it is. At first appearance, you'd have to look at his channel and wonder how on earth has he managed this? He's no fancy channel art, graphics, no big intro, no out of focus background or drone shots or cinematic music. Instead, he delivers on another level and that is the key to his success. Now it's important to note that Rob does have a strong backstory and has endured tough times in his life, but he doesn't use that on his channel, he doesn't dwell on the past and he instead has a rawness that makes him extremely relatable. He's being his true self and the viewers see and love this. He's a normal man recording normal practical videos from his normal home. I think a lot of us are fatigued with a high production glossy channels. Ultimately, who would I rather listen to, Rob or someone living a high life with a collection of Lamborghinis and model girlfriends? Honestly, Rob. But Rob knows his subjects. You can see he doesn't stutter, mess his lines up much. He's confident in his subjects, whether it's repairing things, tying a tie, just giving general dad advice. If you've never done a YouTube video before, you might not realise how surprisingly hard it is just to speak a sentence. Rob also shows his identity. He's a dad. He's a newbie to YouTube. He's genuine, authentic. He wants to help people. Just by the way he opens up his videos and addresses his audience as kids. He doesn't pretend to be anything different. He's picked his niche and subject perfectly by just being himself. Positivity. Rob comes across as light-hearted, warm and like a comfortable pair of socks. You won't sit there cracking your sides with laughter. You won't hide behind the couch terrified. Rob is right in the middle. You'll sit there feeling assured and content. Rob delivers a comfort in his channel. Importantly, a willingness to push his comfort zone. He joked to his kids that he should put answers on YouTube. He knew from his own everyday conversations that there's a demand. His own kids are asking him, Dad, how do I do this? Dad, how do I do that? This is one of the biggest reasons people flock to YouTube. They want help, they want to learn things. Unwittingly, Rob is helping people, but not in a way he expected. Now, a lot of what we've discussed is great, but there are plenty of channels that are similar that really don't get the same traction. While Rob no doubt has benefited from a huge viral boost, it's for the right reasons. This man pulls at the heartstrings with his show of compassion. He demonstrates a connection, a way of helping people. While some will tune in to watch him repair the car or shave, many are tuning in because he resonates with them. There's so many people in the comments who have never had that father figure for one reason or another, and his channel strikes a chord. People are genuinely looking at him because he provides a need in their life that they're missing and crave, and that is heartwarming. You can see in his recent videos that this is something he's coming to terms with. An additional layer of responsibility, but with thousands of comments, he cannot help everyone. Now, don't get me wrong, Rob results aren't normal, but they do highlight the power of public support. Rob reminds me a lot of the teachings of Russell Brunson in his book, Expert Secrets. Anyone can become an expert, build an audience that knows, likes and trusts you. He gives me hope and demonstrates that YouTube or any other social platform isn't just reserved for the elite. But there is a catch. If you want to grow a YouTube channel, guess what you've got to do? You've got to do what others don't to get what others won't. Embrace that uncomfortable feeling of doing something new and who knows where it'll take you. As Rob looks to monetize his channel, I really look forward to seeing where this journey takes him because his life just changed in a matter of 30 days. If you're thinking of starting a YouTube channel but you don't want to put your face on the channel, then I'm going to give you a video now that's going to give you some great suggestions of how you can get started on YouTube without showing your face.